For the first time in human history, we are able to describe how this world we see around us came into being. Our theories take us back to the time when the universe was born, but people always want to know what came before. There have been various ideas, but for me, the most attractive is that the universe was spontaneously created out of absolutely nothing. Less than a billionth of a second after the Big Bang, a bubble much smaller than a fraction of an atom forms. This is the universe. And then, something happened, triggering the most colossal explosion in history. In a billionth of a billionth of a billionth of a second, the universe grew from the size of that tiny point to something billions of miles across. This colossal blast created everything, all the matter we see in the universe today. When one sees the Big Bang portrayed in a film, there's always a Big Bang, a noise. Of course, that's silly because sound doesn't propagate in space. But what's often overlooked is that the Big Bang is not just an explosion that happened at some moment in time at some point in space. It was not just an explosion of material into an empty universe that was sitting there waiting to be filled. It was the explosion of space and time into existence to begin with. And that's what trips most of us up. Before the Big Bang, there was nothing, literally nothing. There is no energy in the universe. Nothing did indeed come from nothing. Science shows that the universe is in fact a big confidence trick. There is truly nothing here. All I want to leave you with is the realization that the universe is an engagingly reorganized form of nothing and that speculative acausal events are capable of seeing it come into being without intervention. No God was needed to make the universe or even to make it happen. My argument diminishes the role of a creator God to zero. Welcome to Creation Minute, I'm Eric Hoven. Today let me give you the evolutionary formula to make a universe. Start with some nothing, add to that some more nothing, then let's add some time. Then let's add some more time. We've got it! It's a perfectly balanced universe. Look at that sun, moon, stars, planets, everything's orbiting in perfect balance and order. You know evolutionists theorize that this formula can enable everything to make itself even people, with the exception of complicated man-made things like a microscope or a toothpick, but everything else about us in nature is the result of random chance and time. You don't even need raw materials. Those will make them... Surely that doesn't make sense. Out of nothing, nothing comes. So where did the universe come from? Why does the universe exist instead of just nothing? There must have been a cause which brought the universe into being. We can being. summarize our argument thus far as follows. Premise one, whatever begins to exist has a cause. Two, the universe began to exist. Three, therefore, the universe has a cause. Now, from the very nature of the case as the cause of space and time, this cause must be an uncaused, changeless, timeless and immaterial being of unimaginable power which created the universe. It must be timeless and therefore changeless because it created time, because it also created space. It must transcend space as well and therefore be immaterial, not physical. Moreover, I would argue, it must also be personal. For a changeless, impersonal cause can never exist without its effect. If the changeless, impersonal conditions for an effect are timelessly present, then their effect must be timelessly present as well. For example, 
The cause of water's freezing is the temperature being below zero degrees centigrade. If the temperature were below zero from eternity, then any water around would be frozen from eternity. It would be impossible for the water to just begin to freeze a finite time ago. The only way for the cause to be timeless and for the effect to begin a finite time ago is for the cause to be a personal agent who freely chooses to create the fact that we have a universe tells us that, that we need a, a creator. Because you see, the universe has a beginning and therefore requires a cause. The energy in the universe has a beginning and therefore requires a cause. And people say, well, you know, if, okay, fine, God made the universe, but then who made God? But you see, God is eternal. God doesn't have a beginning and therefore doesn't require a cause. And that may be a little hard to grasp, but there's nothing irrational about an eternal being. There is something irrational about something popping into existence from nothing, because that violates causality. God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form, and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light, and God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness.